。距离十一月五号美国大选的正式投票日还有两周时间，美国威斯康星州等多个摇摆州已陆续开启提前投票。尽管金主们纷纷发力，但特朗普和哈里斯的选情依旧焦灼。双方民调的误差范围不到百分之三点五，特朗普在全美七个关键摇摆州领先。哈里斯则在全美平均民调中领先特朗普约百分之一。在这一关键时刻，哈里斯因始终强调对以色列的自卫权支持，而面临摇摆州密歇根州阿拉伯裔选民的流失。与现任总统拜登一样，自新一轮巴以冲突以来，副总统民主党候选人哈里斯始终强调对以色列所谓自卫权的坚定支持。这让他面临传统民主党支持者阿拉伯裔选民的流失。How risky is it that you could lose the election? Well, it is undeniable that、uh, it is something that everyone is aware of what is happening there. I speak publicly all the time about the fact that、uh, there are so many tragic stories coming from Gaza, and of course. The first in this phase of everything that has happened, the first most tragic story、um, is October 7. Harris' 的这一采访言论再次激怒不少阿拉伯裔选民。据了解，全美阿拉伯裔人口比例最高的州是密歇根州，也是今年大选最为关键的摇摆州之一。目前约有二十万阿拉伯裔选民。二零二零年，拜登在以十五万票的优势赢下了密歇根州。外界分析，如果阿拉伯裔选民因哈里斯的言论发生了立场转变，或将对选举结果产生影响。They're the ones that are approving the weapons, the resources to bomb our people back home. Although I'm here, I'm an American. I work here. I've had my kids here. My roots are still in Lebanon. I feel like they're turning their back on us. That's my home, my homeland. And they're the ones that are bombing it. 在十月十八号，全美唯一一座穆斯林人口占多数的城市——哈姆特拉米克市市长、民主党人阿米尔·加利卜公开宣布，在大选中支持特朗普。Why Trump? It's a combination of two things: disappointment at the current administration, and hope that the new administration. Uh, led by by Trump, if he wins the election, will do something different that will、uh, help resolve some of the issues locally and internationally. Harris 面对阿拉伯裔选民的倒戈，这让特朗普看到机会。他在采访中透露要实现中东和平。Well, I want to see it all stop. I want to see the Middle East get back to peace and real peace, but a peace that's going to be a lasting peace, and that's going to happen. I have, I feel, really, truly confident. Uh, it's going to happen, and I believe it's going to happen soon. And 眼下在摇摆州，威斯康星州已开启提前投票，这也意味着全美七个摇摆州都放开了预先投票通道。截至当地时间十月二十二号下午，全美已有超过两千一百二十二万名选民参与，多个摇摆州的早期投票人数打破了历史同期记录。不过，一位德克萨斯州的选民反馈，有投票站机器出现异常。他称，打印出的纸质投票结果显示的，并非自己选择的总统候选人。他选择了特朗普之后，选票打印出来却变成了哈里斯。I voted for one president, checked it on the video screen. When I got the paper ballot, it had the other candidate's name on it. 事后，该选民获得重新投票的机会。德克萨斯州的选举官员表示，该问题已经汇报给了美国国务卿办公室，并称这不会影响竞选结果。This is not an uncommon, and there's a practice in place called spoiling the ballot to handle this. 另一方面，当地时间十月二十二号，美国疾控中心宣布，美国爆发了与麦当劳相关的严重的大肠杆菌感染事故。目前，十个州已经有四十九人因此患病，一人死亡，包括一名儿童在内，有十人住院。事故主要发生在美国西部山地地区的多个州。美国疾控中心称，这些患者报告在发病前曾在麦当劳用餐，特别提到吃了一种牛肉汉堡。值得注意的是，事发的前一天，特朗普才来到一家麦当劳店内打工，为自己拉选票。他在店内亲自制作了炸薯条，并在快车通道窗口亲自递给民众。不过，特朗普所在的这家麦当劳位于美国东部费城地区，与事发地相隔较远。事后，麦当劳美国紧急回应称，已经临时性的撤走与事故相关的疑似原料，涉事商品在某些州不会上架。十月二十三号，麦当劳中国方面表示，麦当劳中国没有。
购买新闻中提到的产品，也不使用相关食材，严格遵守法律法规要求和质量管理标准。继亿万富翁马斯克扬言每天向一名特朗普支持者派发一百万美元后，近日世界前首富比尔盖茨被曝向哈里斯秘密捐款五千万美元。美国大选最后冲刺阶段，金主们砸钱竞争也进入白热化。据美媒二十二号透露，微软创始人、世界前首富比尔盖茨已经私下向一家支持哈里斯的非营利组织捐赠了约五千万美元，约合三点五六亿元人民币。虽然盖茨目前没有公开支持哈里斯，在回应置评请求时也没有提及捐款事宜，但在声明中指出：“我支持那些明确致力于改善美国和世界医疗保健、减少贫困和应对气候变化的候选人。”相对而言，这更符合民主党阵营的价值观。有了解比尔及梅琳达·盖茨基金会的知情人士表示，盖茨与哈里斯的关系并不深厚，但他对拜登政府在气候变化方面所做的工作表示赞赏。七月底，哈里斯正式成为民主党总统候选人后，盖茨曾对他做出积极评价。You know, I think it's great to have somebody who's younger who can think about things like AI and how we shape that in、uh, the right way. I hope the new government. As、uh, one that cares about our allies, cares about climate. Right. It doesn't fit the description of Donald Trump. What you just said. No, I mean, so you know, my individual vote, you you might be able to predict, but I'm not saying to people、uh, that I'm a political influencer. 有分析认为，尽管哈里斯的亿万富翁支持者更多，但许多人选择做旁观者，而特朗普的强力支持者、世界首富马斯克则是更加亲力亲为。马斯克的拉票方式就是用钱狠狠砸向摇摆不定的选民。此前，马斯克宣布，他将每天随机向一名支持特朗普政见的宾夕法尼亚州选民发放一百万美元，直到十一月五号美国大选日。目前已经产生了三名幸运儿。<笑> So,、uh, congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Against the Democratic Party, Trump is throwing the American public under the bus. Donald Trump has already promised that he would put Elon in charge of government regulations that oversee the businesses that Elon runs. So, in other words. Donald Trump, in front of the eyes of the American public, is promising corruption. That's. 除马斯克外，金沙集团创办人阿德尔森的遗孀米里亚姆·阿德尔森，美国航运公司 u l i 总裁尤莱因也是特朗普的支持者，三人累计向特朗普阵营捐赠超两亿美元，构建三链三区，推动罗湖高质量发展。党的二十届三中全会提出，要加快推动形成超大特大城市智慧高校治理新体系。我们今天走进深圳罗湖区，看看如何以数字化变革构建更加智慧的新社区。请不要在此处停放非机动车。在深圳罗湖区湖北新村，一双智慧的眼睛正紧盯城区治理细节。一旦发现机动车、非机动车违规停放，广播则会语音提醒市民进行整改